During World War II, the behavioral psychologist B.F. Skinner embarked on a far-fetched idea to use trained pigeons to guide armed missiles toward enemy targets. He was not quite the controversial figure he is today, and had developed a new theory of learning called operant conditioning. Behaviorism was sweeping the field of psychology. Some may have had some issues with the ethics involved in putting innocent animals at the center of certain death. But he justified it, viewing their sacrifice as small, relative to the devastation Hitler's relentless bombing was causing in Europe. Radar had not yet been invented, and the massive mechanical equipment required to guide a missile left little room for explosives. Like many of the behaviorists of his day, he was part academic and part tinkerer. On the top floor of a grain silo in Minneapolis, he worked with engineers from General Mills to construct a simulation of the missile. He and his students then trained the birds to fly it. Skinner had developed a technique called shaping. He would reward his subject with food whenever it got vaguely close to the goal he was trying to teach. As they got closer and closer, Skinner then made the rewards more and more specific, until the subject was doing exactly what he wanted them to do. He began the shaping process by showing the pigeon a dot, projected on a translucent screen. In the beginning, any motion a pigeon made towards the screen was rewarded with food. Over time, Skinner would reward the bird only when the bird pecked closer and closer to the goal, until the bird was precisely pecking on the dot. He later moved the dot back and forth and the pigeon would follow quickly, and precisely track the dot, ultimately training it to track a battleship. In essence, Skinner was using the bird as a kind of animal computer, performing a complicated tracking operation that the technology of the day could only crudely do. Over millions of years, evolution had equipped animals to do this task perfectly, and he planned to take advantage of that innate skill. The Navy gave Skinner a small grant to pursue the project. He constructed a set of optical lenses at the tip of the nose cone, which focused the missile's forward view onto a screen, placed in front of each of the three pigeons strapped inside. An air-driven mechanism then steered the missile toward its target, based on a vote of two out of three birds agreeing on which direction to aim. It worked beautifully in tests for the Navy, but it was abandoned, partly in favor of more promising efforts, such as the Manhattan Project, but mainly because the idea of pigeons guiding a bomb was a difficult sell to the Pentagon brass. Skinner later called it a crackpot idea, but he traced his famous teaching machines and learning theories directly to his work on Project Pigeon. Because it forms the theoretical foundation for most of the education technology used today, it was a pivotal event in the world of education.